take any job if you want to be perfectly honest. Um, no, I think, I think um, yeah, there's a, a good list of people I'd love to work with. It's just anybody who's talented, anybody who loves their work, who loves their job, and enjoys it at the same time. You know, this is a, this is a, a fun process that we get to do. It's, it's kind of like uh, living in an imaginary world, and you should really just enjoy it. So it's, it's nice to work with people who really enjoy it, like you know, Gore and Johnny, who, you know, those guys have been doing it for so long and still love it. And it's like, that's the kind of guy you should try to work with. This is your first big action movie, so how is it handling those type of scenes? It was fun. I mean, it was fun. It was, uh, it was my first action movie, and I, I think, you know, uh, you still have to figure out a way to act. Like, you can't just be doing action, or else it'll just, you'll have, like, a goofy look on your face, like you're trying to do an action scene or something like that. So it's, it was interesting trying to find a way to act while still doing action, which was fun. It was a, I mean, I got to do crazy stuff all day. It was great. Question back. Uh, who would you say you had the best rapport with uh, out of all the actors you've ever seen here? Ever. Uh, probably my buddy Chris Palaha. We did a movie together. Uh, and also, I mean, probably Johnny. He's definitely up there as one of the more... He's just incredibly gracious, incredibly open. Uh, to be perfectly honest, he's just a nice dude. Can, can you talk a little bit about the research you put into creating the Long Ranger and and how you approached this iconic role? Were you paralyzed? Were you, like, how did you go? What was your process like? Uh, I have a researcher that I work with. Her name is Amy Hammond. And uh, she's like a bloodhound. And you just kind of give her a scent, in this case, the Lone Ranger. And she just takes off for a couple weeks, goes to, like, local libraries, goes kind of all over the place and brings back every bit of material and information she can find. And so by the end of it, I'll have probably a stack this tall of like spiral notebooks with just pages and pages of excerpts from books, uh, you know, um, you know, recording, audio recordings, bunch of CDs of audio recordings, the old radio serial, all the old TV shows, uh, you know, watched a lot of those. And it was, it was fun, it was informative. Uh, I got to see why people really liked the Lone Ranger. Uh, he's, he's just a, He's a simple dude who's just about doing the right thing. And he was just a good hero. And that was kind of what everyone wanted at the time. And so we had to bring that into it. And we also had to sort of tweak it for an almost more discerning audience where they won't, the audience nowadays won't let you get away with doing as much of a two-dimensional character. You know, it's like he didn't, he didn't have a struggle. He just did the right thing all the time. And that now to the modern audience who's much more discerning, it just gets boring. So we had to, you know, dig into his backstory and find him some things to kind of put in the movie. If this is going to be a success, they, they will probably want it back for part two, three, maybe four, five. I you said it, dude, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be open for it. You know, it was, a, it was one of the more fun experiences, one of the more difficult, but one of the more fun experiences I've ever had in my life. So if they called, I'd, I'd come. Last question. Can you talk about working with David Fincher on social media? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that was that was terrifying. He is one of the more alarmingly intelligent human beings I've ever come in contact with. He's just, and he wears his intelligence like a suit of armor a little bit. He's just he's just so smart, um, and you just you see him just kind of like walking around set, and just kind of walking up to you, just giving you good up and down. <laughs> and then walking away. <laughs> what does that mean? What did I do? Like, you know, but at the same time, it keeps everybody on the edge, and it keeps you, you know, going. I have to do a good job, and everybody was really hungry to just do good work and make him happy. So it was fun, and he was more exacting and more precise than anyone else I've ever met in my life. A lot of takes, but at the end of the day, he did so many takes because he was monitoring ten thousand things in each frame. So. Everything had to go properly. So when he finally said, "Okay, cut, print, moving on," you were just like, "Yes!" Like it was just such a sense of relief. You're like, "We got it." And no matter what happens, we know that that scene went right because he wouldn't let us move on unless it was right. All right, that's it. Thank Great. you. Thank you.